Hello guys, welcome or welcome back. This week or this video, we are gonna do a reading vlog, but we're gonna be buddy reading with Lauren's Reading Corner. Oh! <laughs> That's her book account. Tag okay. it down below. You guys know Lauren, but we are going to be reading Twisted Love. I will say that this is going to be, first of all, spoilers. So if you haven't read the series yet, definitely don't watch or watch. Discretion is advised if you have not read this and you're going to watch this. All right, we're going in kind of blind with this. We Completely heard that blind. the second one was a lot better than the first. And then we also heard the series was good, but not many like the first one. I don't know. All right, so Twisted Love. I'm pretty sure, it was, is this one the brother's best friend? Yes. Yes, brother's best friend. Yeah. Not best friend's brother. The second one is like the bodyguard one mm -hmm. and then the last one is best friend's brother i think we're just gonna start and we'll just give you guys our reactions and our updates and how we like it but if you guys like want to cool. know whenever we read yeah we've been looking up playlists this is probably not news to anyone but there's playlists for books if you like my favorite yeah playlists. like this one is twisted love alex and ava yeah they and love it's by emma words. thank you emma thanks emma I, I love it because it always has taylor swift in it and the 1975 those are my two favorite people in the world people band and person in the world <laughs> we're gonna so start reading well. and we're gonna come back with our first update Date slash reaction. You guys know how reading vlogs go. Okay. I don't. Oh, Lauren's never done a reading vlog. I've never done it. This is so much fun. You basically just tell them how you're feeling about the book. Are <laughs> you ready? All right, we read a chapter. <laughs> One chapter. We'll give you our first update and then we'll Yeah, but I feel like there's just not you, enough. You don't have anything you want to say? I actually really do like how, you know how sometimes when like the guy is mean to a girl. It's like fake it's, mean. It's like a like I'm cocky mean. This is like I'm He's mean. actually like a You know, I, I, I think that's good. Yeah, it's dual point of view. We just figured that out. Also, I love. he says he doesn't like her. He, doesn't. Mm. he didn't care if she croaked, yeah, basically. All right, we're going to read the rest, not the rest. <laughs> yeah, we're actually not going to check in <laughs> until tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna keep oh reading. Gosh. We'll come back when something important happens for us to speak on. We read Alex's point of view and we kind of found out some of the trauma that's going on. Because there's always trauma. So we think that, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Someone killed his family, like in front of him. And now he's trying to get like revenge. And his that's uncle's in on broken. it. broken. Yeah, and that's why he's like so mean and standoffish. But um, at the end of the chapter, it said that he has like a deal. Yeah, what does that even, what does that mean? I have a feeling it's gonna be something about them being neighbors. By your earlier request, I have an idea. Maybe asking him to be like, He's probably gonna make her like stay with him. Yeah. We'll come back when we find either something up or something fun happens. I don't know. Yeah. Bye. Hi guys. We're on chapter, I don't know what, seven? Eight. We just finished. We decided when I was reading and I, I can't like relax, I found out what who the books are about, even though I didn't read the back. Oh yeah. I mean, so second book was Bridget, Bridget. Was Booth. <laughs> Bridget and Booth. I don't comment, well, you're gonna comment because we're gonna read the next one. We think that it's Jules, Jules and Josh. I love Jules and I can't Josh. I for that one. And I also picture Jules as Stassi. <laughs> <laughs> I picture her as a ginger TikTok girl, so that's cool. So that's what we found out. I don't really like Alex, if I'm gonna be completely honest. He's like annoying. <laughs> oh, that whole scene where he bursted in on the photo shoot was bizarre. Yeah, man. like it was a little it too was far. Too, too early in the, in yeah. the like enemies to lover. It wasn't like hot. Yeah, it was cringy. He had no right to do that. It was just weird to me. That scene should have been like after they had a moment. Like they should have had a moment and then, and then did that. And then did that. No right doing that. They don't like each other. It was just weird. Like it's just like the buildup is not there yet, so he shouldn't yeah. have done that. It was too soon for something like that to happen. That's all. And also, I like the book. Don't get me wrong. But I don't like the emotion phase, I, the, the stupid like operation emotion. I think that's Why? the point of the book though, that's what's gonna happen. I think it's dumb. I don't like when she puts in the trauma. I like that. I, I, mean, like, I, I, I like when she does the flashbacks. It gives like... I don't like the way she puts it in like, like it's just... I like, like it that it's italicized because it's like legit a flashback. Alright. I hate the stupid game. I think I like that part actually. I think the game is gonna last the whole book. I think it's just to start it off. I guess. Wait, I don't know what happened to her family. I try and figure it oh, out. Oh, I think... I don't know why, but like there was a line in her flashback. She was at a lake. Um, it said, mommies are always supposed to be there with their daughters. And she had been there on the deck watching me until she had it. Did she kill her or try to kill her? I don't know why. That's my first thought. I think but... the I think she was like by the lake and almost drowning and the mom didn't do anything about it. Yeah, because did she want to kill her? And I and I know that the dad's alive now. Because like, she didn't say where the parents were. Yeah, but the dad helped her for with school. That's why I just think the operation emotion is unnecessary. Like, we should be trying to uncover their trauma. I think you're gonna. I think the operation just gives it a little bit of fun. Childish. I think they're just doing it for fun. I guess. I don't know. We're on page 65. Okay, we'll be back. That's so embarrassing. Okay. Remember when we said that Bridget gets together with Booth? <laughs> Booth's wife is giving birth. <laughs> she gets together with, we found out from a playlist on Spotify. 
well. She is actually not with Boo. Please don't make fun of us. It was an honest mistake. We're coming on here to apologize to you all. Yeah, we've now figured out that it's probably the new bodyguard that's taking Boo's place. So, so maybe we should enjoy the book that we're reading. And <laughs> not jump to conclusions. Alex and Ava had a sleepover. Honestly, Bridget made a good point because she said that Alex would kick anyone out of the house and mm -hmm. he ended up, like, she stayed there. Yeah, because he likes her. Because he likes her. I know he likes her. Yeah. Sunshine and what's it called? Grumpy. Trope. Grumpy trope. That's not my favorite trope, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah. That's all. I just want to tell you guys that it was an honest mistake and we're so sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm, I really apologize. But we're on chapter oh, two, I 11. can't relax, guys. Mm -mm. Always jumping to conclusions. All right, we'll be back with any further info. We're on page 129, chapter 17. We didn't read too much today. We kind of just read a little because we're busy. We were busy girls. But we have a lot of thoughts. Well, did you tell him your thoughts of what Ava's mom did or no? Did you say that yesterday? I did. I said yesterday that I thought that Ava's mom tried to kill. I thought I was far off. I thought that it was a reach, Lauren, saying that, but we just read the flashback of Ava saying that her parents got divorced and her mom tried to push her in a lake. Kill her. Basically. So, we get that trauma now. The thing about Alex is sometimes we like him, but then other times, well, most of the okay, time. Okay, I just need to say that I think this is so oddly unrealistic. It's unbelievable. Yeah. The way and I understand I'm reading fiction and like romance and it's not supposed to be realistic, I but mean, this is so is. romanticized and like borderline fantasy that I just, <laughs> it's not realistic. Everything that happens, he's, first of all, he's a borderline Imagining murderer. Imagining literally killing he likes to kill like kill people. He wanted to kill Liam for I mean I understand he cheated on her and was basically harassing her. And it's just the way her. that like he didn't need to think about killing him and leaving him there for dead death. I I really like the way Anna writes. Just think that the way she describes things it's is deep. so deep. I feel like they're not in the relationship long enough for, or like even like have a spark of anything long enough for her to like have these weird feelings and like I don't know. It'll be that really deep sentence or paragraph or or like two paragraphs or a page and then done. It's never spoken about yeah. it and then he's on to making enemies and killing people. Trying to kill people. He's such an unrealistic it's, character. It's just method. bizarre to me. I think that he he does a little too much sometimes. No, I like when love interest is like, Bro, like be sunshine. Like it's fine. There's just a, there's a level to it that I think it's a little too far right now. I, I, I said that yesterday like how I don't like when it's enemies to lovers. It's like fake enemies. Yeah. They they were like legit enemies. I'm sorry. They were legit two enemies for gone. three for three, yeah. three chapters and then all of a sudden he's like I know you want me. The <laughs> first like two chapters or whatever it was he was saying that she is not his type all this stuff like he would absolutely never and then all of a sudden like, he's like, word, like he thinks she's like the most beautiful person ever I just and, he's, and he's beating people up because of her the stuff that i do like I usually don't like the main girls but i actually don't mind it i like her i, I like her those are our thoughts right now we're just like not like loving it i don't mind it i'm just not like i don't know i don't like how unrealistic some parts are it jumps from like a, a really descriptive paragraph of him being so i don't know how he acts and then they're like fine i don't know i hope it gets better because like guys <laughs> he's a borderline killing her ex-boyfriend <laughs> then they're in a diner and she's telling him her trauma i wouldn't speak to him if he tried to kill my ex-boyfriend but anyway guys we have class now yeah that's we have to leave holy shit. now we have to leave we just read chapter 19 it was alex's birthday and ava, she threw him a surprise party. ava threw him a surprise party alex doesn't like birthdays because of trauma and whatnot and they shared their first kiss and i'm just really mad about it was it. horrible it was so bad okay, i have a few things to say when he randomly told him that his family was murdered while washing dishes yeah, it was so stupid guys That's not also, the time or place and also like when he choked Madeline. All right, like relax. And he said that he was like one second away from, I don't know what he said. Yeah, I think he needs a Xanax. <laughs> I didn't like their first kiss at all. I didn't mind how she kissed him first because she was being bold and like that's her whole like persona. Like she's gonna be the happy one and go for things. What I didn't like was how all of a sudden he completely flung her around, like really aggressive, the kiss. And then he said, gonna happen never again. happening again. Okay. I don't know where it's gonna go now from here. Cause normally with like enemy lovers, they kiss and then it's like over and then it's over so i'm so mad it happened like that you know when like he came to like save her when she got you know got pushed into the pool again also she can't swim that's her trauma maybe like elaborate it when madeline pushed her don't just say i saw black and then next thing you know she's home i just hope that the next few books aren't this aggressive okay, maybe we can calm down and continue reading okay guys the book isn't bad it's just not my favorite i really book. like the book i don't know it's not my favorite okay we'll be back seriously guys alex always thinks that he eats with everything he says to ava but he goes home starving. He said, you're about to find out what happens when you invite yourself into the lines then. Don't and say I that said, because we didn't need that. No, you thought you ate and you really didn't because that didn't hit. It didn't hit. It didn't hit the way he thought it did. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt and I enjoyed it. he him ruins it every time. <laughs> I was just saying to Sarah like two chapters ago, I would never in my life in a million ten years date this kind of man. He He's has scary. no humor. He has a stick up his
You can bleep that out. <laughs> He's not a comfort. He is just like not it. For her, he'd burn the world, guys. I don't care. Okay, do see you. Hi. We've gotten, what page are we on? 192. We've gotten like a little over halfway of the book and we have some opinions to share. Okay, so first of all, we're trying so hard to like it. It's not that we don't like it. Oh, I don't know how to explain it. <sighs> there was no lead up and now there are a couple. Yeah, I feel like bizarre. it flipped a switch after like a chapter and all of a sudden they're hugging in public. Kissing in public. Kissing in public, acting like a couple. She's telling her friends about it. I just feel like all of a sudden they're like a, a couple. It doesn't make sense. It was like legit. The switch was flipped. I know that we're like over halfway but it's like it didn't like there's nothing that led up to it there's no tension they didn't even have a conversation about it it just flipped from them having their first time to a couple i don't know it just doesn't make sense it's very weird to me okay so we read the part where oh yeah ava said like her dad like looked at her and was like I and like he feared, feared her me. he feared so, me scared of me whatever so then we also said like what if like he killed alex's parents yeah, like what if he's the one because they're also at thanksgiving dinner and the dad's like all like quiet and sus and doesn't like because alex. josh isn't there so i said oh what if he's the one that killed the family? is that too much of a stretch i don't think so i don't think so either but also like what is a what does ava have to do with any of this i also said to sarah like what if he's just faking his feelings like to get closer to yeah him? which would that would make sense only because that's how he flipped the switch so easily like he's doing this for like another reason because he didn't like her he literally didn't like her and now he wants to date her i don't get it i don't there has to be another reason it's way too quick for, for it not to be fake i guess that might be the end is that our prediction that he's faking it no because people love them together so maybe they get over the home yeah i think he ends up actually like i don't know i don't know i don't love him. Mm -mm, I don't either. Right now, if I had to rate it, I would give it a 3 out of 5. Yeah, and honestly, guys, like, I am, like, very opinionated with a book, and especially a series, so it's gonna be very, very hard for me to start the next well, one. We I understand that it's better. Good luck, because I, if I don't like this, We're I also saying, why is she a princess? <laughs> am I reading the selection? <laughs> I don't know. We thought it was so random how they're all just, like, in college and one of them is a princess. Am I reading why a fantasy? She we gotta... both said it to each other at yeah. the same time. We're like, why is she a princess? Because we were reading it, and she got a new bodyguard, and she couldn't go to the, the fall festival because she's a prince. I don't know. It's weird. Everything about this is a little weird right now. I guess we'll come back. Let us know if you had like any similar feelings like yeah. you do. I hope we're not the only ones. We're not bashing everyone's favorite book. If you look on Lauren's reading corner, everyone <laughs> legitimately yeah. said that the second one, like they didn't love this one. The second no one says one anything about the third one though. Everyone just says the second one's the best. All right. We'll be back. Hello. We've read it a lot actually. What page are we on? 246. It's very late. It's like, what time is it? 1 a.m. I don't remember the last time we said something, but we found out that the uncle killed Alex's parents. First we found out that Eva's dad was the one that tried to kill her, not the mom, and he killed the mom. Josh found out about the relationship and he's fine with it, went back overseas. Alex's uncle is the one that hired the burglar people to kill his family. I didn't see that one coming. We guessed it. I did, but like before. I knew, like you thought that it was Michael. Turns out it's the uncle. But we guessed that after he found something in the uncle's library. Is this a murder mystery? It's not a romance and I'm like annoyed at it. The romance sucks, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna be so totally There's honest. There's not an ounce of romance. Romance. They just went to dinner and it lasted two minutes. And he came in storming for no reason. The romance scenes maybe last three pages at most. But the romance scenes aren't even them connecting. It's them like doing things or just, I don't know. Or like them like overcoming their trauma. Yeah. Like I don't think they actually like each other. There's no chemistry. That's the word. Yeah. Okay. We'll be back tomorrow. Did you get the 262? Yeah. He went on the black market for poison. This is my favorite part. That you had, whatever it you is. You thought you had that disease? It is unfortunate that the symptoms are so similar, but no, I'm afraid it's not. <laughs> he said, you can buy anything on the black market these days. I literally, I don't know who hyped this series up. When people hyped up, we were liars. Whoever did that probably is the culprit for this one too. So we got to the part where Alex killed his uncle in front of everyone. And what I was saying is, you know how it's gonna be a nice ending? There's always a happy ending. How do you get back together with someone like that? He's a murderer! He legit killed. He set the house on fire. He told her that everything was a lie. Josh was beating him up right now. He used Josh, like... And you're gonna get back together with him? We don't know that yet, but I'm assuming. What is this book about? The storyline just doesn't make sense. Nothing about it makes sense. Nothing weaves together. It's not connecting. We're on page 281 of 340. So we have like 60 pages left. What time is it? I just want to get it over with. I can't do it anymore. We'll probably come back when we're done honestly pray for us yeah seriously bye
Bye. Okay, we finished the book. You want me to be honest? I hated it. I skimmed like that book. Maybe like the whole last few chapters. No, like literally like almost all of it. I just listened to like what they were saying to each other. When I'm when I when I like am not interested in a book, then I will start to like only read the dialogue. Yeah, that's what I was doing. It was like too painful to read everything. So. I hated it. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't want to be dramatic, but it just wasn't good. It, it had potential to be good. I didn't like the characters together. Nothing made sense. I don't know if I said this last night. It was there was zero chemistry. All of a sudden, she goes from not speaking to him and moving across the country to no. The part that got him. me. What he say? No, well, <laughs> the part that got me was like when they were like making up. He was like, uh, "Who's that blonde kid?" And, like gets all protective over that. Flips the switch. He's like lovey dovey now, and she like forgives him for like threatening to kill the innocent kid who thought they were friends. So it was like he is a certified sociopath. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would romanticize him. She also nothing he did was like attractive to me. Ended her relationship with her brother, which was the only him. family she. Had had left and she had a good relationship with him and she's just okay with it. I just like think everything was like a reach. Now we have to read about Bridget like having to be a princess. Like I'm not read. I didn't want to read the selection. But everyone <laughs> says that it's like better better than the first one. Hard to believe. Actually it might not be hard to believe because hopefully Reese is just not like Alex. I'm praying. Stop highlighting. That's when you know I hated it. Okay at the end of the epilogue it says the end and then obviously it gives a preview into the second one. He can't have her but he's taking her anyway. That doesn't like leave. Does that mean that he's gonna be like Alex? Like wait what did it say? He can't have her but he's taking her anyway yeah he can't have her because she has to marry someone that's noble to be the queen how do you know you're reading that marry someone of noble birth that's mm. why he can't be king because he married an american girl unless yeah. Reese is secretly a prince something <laughs> stupid is gonna happen i think i'm gonna rate it like a two and a half out of five I i'm gonna give it a three because it is very like the aspect of the whole like i was able to predict it and i like i like books that i can like oh i didn't like that it was predictable I, I like books that i can guess like how everything like connects i think there's but. just probably better books out there with the same tropes so Hopefully I find some because this was my first one where he's like a, basically a murderer. But it was overlooked. Yeah, I feel like if I read like a mafia romance, I need to read one where he's. But like, I feel like it should, it should like preface that he was like a sociopath. I thought he was just gonna be like I hate everyone type beat, you know. That's what we thought. If you liked the book, I'm sorry that we didn't. But again, all opinions, all love. I hope you enjoyed. We are gonna continue reading the other ones in different vlogs. It'll be kind of like a series. So hopefully we like the second one. Everyone says the second one's better, so I'm praying it is. All right, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Bye. Bye.